Right, welcome to this video. My name is Adrian and today I am making a follow-up video to my Certified SolidWorks Associate video because I made some errors on it and I want to show you how I've corrected them. First thing is the multiple choice. I've got the first one incorrect and I want to share with you how you can double check these drafting multiple choice questions when you're actually taking the exam by using SOLIDWORKS of course. So what I did is I created a part, a little box, it's a hollow box as you can see here and for now for instance when you're taking the exam and you are not sure about the multiple choice answer, is it a section, is it a crop section, you don't really know, you're unsure, you can go into SOLIDWORKS you can create a part and then you can actually say make drawing of part so you just do that you can choose any template it's not really necessary which I'm, I'm just going to do standard view there's my standard view done and now you can actually go and test all the different drawing styles out to see which one is the multiple choice so if you go to view layout you can see there's different kinds of layout options. You've got the projected view, the auxiliary view, section view, removed section, detail view, break, broken out section, break, break view, crop view, which is the one I got wrong, and then alternative position views. So by just using the sketch you've got, you can go and quickly decide or just test out the different views to see which one is the one that corresponds to the question in your exam. So for instance, if I now go to this little one here, and I'm gonna use section view, I just go click on it, say yes, that's fine, and there we go. So essentially what section view does, it cuts through your part with a line that you've determined and it shows you the sectional view wherever you put it. So that is a section view. So if one of your questions has got a section view option and it does not look like this, then that is not the answer. All right, the next one is the removed section, which in, a, in this sense is almost like sectional view. It's just a, a, only a, a certain part. You don't need to cut through the whole part. Um, it's going to be a bit difficult to show it here, but essentially you click on it and you, let me just get that on the screen so where you can see it. You click on one side of the edge or you need to select two edges. So I'm just going to select these two edges. I'm going to say, yeah, I want to cut it there. And it essentially gives me the same option as the one over here. So if that is one of your answers, then check that one. When we move out to detail view, now that is where you can actually go and enlarge a certain area where you want to show more detail. In this case, you can draw a little circle. So for instance, if I want to show more detail on this corner here, I draw a circle around that side and it then creates a part that is enlarged or zoomed in where you can then show more detail. If that is one of the answers, then you can say, oh, that is a detailed view. The last one, or another one, is a broken out section. So this is just showing you hidden details. So I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna use this one again. So again, I want to show some hidden detail on the corner where you need to use a spline. So you basically draw it there. And you're gonna just need to close it off didn't show it. Let's try this one. Oh, depth. Sorry, I need to say depth. I'm just going to go 10 millimeters. Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to say yes. And there it's gone and cut away a piece of the box to show the depth or broken out sections to show what's inside of the part. So that is broken out section. If that is not one, then we can go with break view. Break view is when we have very large or long parts and you want you can't fit it on your drawing you need to shorten it so it sort of cuts it so you can say select drawing view to break so this is the one i want to break and now you can see you can select 
the different, so I'm just going to say there, and there, and then you see it is gone and it's taken out the middle part between the two lines and shorten it. So that is a break view. Then we go to crop view. So we need to do that. You need to first draw something. So I'm going to go with this one here. I'm going to go sketch. And I'm going to draw a little corner rectangle over here. This is the only part that I want to show. So now when I select view layout and say crop view, this is the one I got wrong. You click and it only shows the area that was inside the drawing that you've made. I've made the rectangle and this is now the only part that it shows of the drawing. So that is crop view. And that's it. This is really nice to use if you're unsure of the multiple choice questions and they're showing you a, a sketch view layout which you're unsure about. Then you can go, if you think for instance it is detail view, you can go into SolidWorks, create a detail view of a part and see if it corresponds to the one that they show in the exam. If not, then you know your answer is incorrect and you need to select another option. So that was the multiple choice ones. Now the other mistake I made is during my draw, um, during my part creation, I have saved it luckily. Like I said, always save your parts. And this was it. All right, so I had difficulty with this, creating this circle with a radius of 41. I've since then know how to do it now. I know how to do it now. So if you go here, I'm just going to normal to this part here. And we are going to, it was this, this one? Yeah, it was this one. So I'm going to delete this now. And say yes, yes, and I'm going to create another one. So it was parallel with this side. So I'm just gonna do that so it automatically creates it. Okay, that was it. And then I say, yes, that's fine. Select, and then I'm gonna convert entities and I'm gonna convert that one, that one, that one, that one, and that one. I'm gonna say, yes, let's just quickly go back to that. That was 36, all right. So now I'm gonna go and cut some of these stuff away so that I only have this area here, which is colored in. So now the dimension that they've given is set from the top here to that point over there. It was 36, 36, let me just go. Yeah, that was 36. Oh, and the, this one was 41, radius of 41. All right, so that should give you the correct answer. Oh, it's still not fully defined. Let's just see what's wrong here. Oh, that can go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. You need to make the center point, you need to make the center point of the circle it needs to be coincident with this line. So you just say make coincident. Yes, and now it's fully defined. All right, so that is how you get this 36 dimension perfectly, which for some other reason I just didn't know how to do in the last video. All right, so when you go out now, it should be nicely, <laughs> correctly dimensioned, but because I did it poorly last time, you can see here's a gap in here, so I need to quickly go fix that as well. So that was when I did the cuts. Just see, it's this one here, it's this one here, this one here first. So I need to edit the sketch again. Let's just normalize towards it. Yeah. Normalize, normalize, normalize. Just gonna normalize towards that. All right, so that's fine. That that one is actually fine because it's one millimeter, so that's fine. It's the second one, this one here. I'm gonna edit that. Now, I'm just gonna delete that because that was incorrect. You can, to get access to the curvature of the circle that you've drawn, you can change this here to make it like that and then you can see oh, maybe it's better to let's just do that and then you can see there if I zoom in there's the line that I need to to, to use 
a millimeter from that. So what I can do is I can say offset entities and then I select this line and I say one millimeter. All right, so now I say yes. So that's done. So let's just go back to my bit of viewed. So now you can see the new line is there and it has been properly offset with the correct dimension, the correct circle I've used. And now the only thing left is to just trim this part here. And trim this part here. Get that one nicely intersects, but I don't think this one intersected, did it? Oh, it did. All right, great stuff. Okay, so now that's fine. So I can say yes. And there we go. So now that is no more hole in there and it's perfectly dimensioned. All right, so that is how you correctly dimension it. So now I've shown you how to do it correctly. And uh, when you're ready to take the exam, good luck. And I hope you get full marks and you use the tips and tricks I've showed you. And uh, all the best. Bye.